Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Medieval Dynasty episode. Today's episode is for all the married men out there, married in Medieval Dynasty, anyway. Uh, we're going to be going over gifts, how to get gifts, what they're used for, uh, and all that. So basically, just to kind of dive right in here, uh, gifts are basically what you use to make your wife happy <laughs> in the game, uh, as well as to kind of boost your potential fiancé, girlfriend, before she becomes your wife, uh, to boost her affection too. And it's a little tricky on, you know, figuring out what gift you need to give your either your girlfriend or your wife. But once you understand what your wife's personality is, buying gifts is a lot easier. A lot easier, just like in real life, right? So, um, uh, basically, first things first, what are gifts? Gifts are basically like these little trinkets that you can give to your girlfriend to boost her affection or your wife to also boost her affection because, at least in regards to, to your wife, over time, her affection will start to... Uh, decrease. She'll now and then she'll have like a quest that'll help boost that. But you know, if she doesn't have a quest in a long time, you might start to notice that you know she's she's starting to to fall out of love with you, and you just got to get her something a little pretty to spice things up, basically. So those are gifts. Now you might wonder where you can get your your hands on these gifts, and the best way to do it is honestly just to come up to a person uh -huh. and straight up ask them where they where you can find the uh, vendor and the vendor that you are going to be looking for you're going to go to where can i find you're going to go to vendors we're looking for the special vendor and the exotic goods and he will tell us where this person is and we can say thanks bye uh, and it just so happens that i ran all the way over here so that we didn't have to you know go through a really terrible boring load screen so we are here in jazerica where this special vendor is and she just happens to be right here in the tavern you do usually find them in the tavern at least i have uh in all the times that i've encountered the special vendor so here she is Hello. we can just quick talk to her and we can say hey show me your Only wares the and these are yeah. the gifts that she has available in this season i do believe these change each uh, each season because there are some things here that I that I have bought before that I'm not seeing here now, so I'm assuming they change every season. Um, so you might um, not always find the gift that you need to give your wife based on her personality. If that's the case, like don't buy anything else. Like if you're desperate, sure, maybe take a gamble. But the problem is, if you give her a gift that she doesn't actually like, uh, you can you run the risk of actually reducing her affection even more. Um, so you know, if you if you if you don't see the gift for her personality maybe try and skip a season if you can get away with it. I mean, basically, don't let her her affection get so low where you're, you know, in a bind, basically. So, uh, here are the gifts that she has available for this season. We can see she has a jewelry box here, the needle case, the perfume, silk shaw, and the thimble. And if you click on each one, you can see uh, that they basically tell you um, a little bit of a hint as to, like, the kind of personality type that would enjoy uh, this uh, gift. So if this button, for example, the perfume, it says it's uh, elate somebody who is passionate. And my wife, I think, is, is she has that personality. So I could buy this for her. I'm not going to. I'm sorry. But <laughs> I'm, like, I'm a little I'm a little tight in money. Uh, although this is one of the cheaper ones, I guess. But um, basically, if you don't know your wife's personality, try talking to her a little bit. It's it try the game tries to make it pretty clear. And you can also there's also a skill that you can unlock that basically unlo uh, basically shows their personality type, so you just know, like, right off the bat, oh, hey, this is what this is, so now I can get the appropriate gift for them. Um, so, you know, pr try to buy the one that they like, and they'll, that'll bo it'll boost their, their, uh, her, um, affection, uh, pretty gosh darn high, uh, so you don't have to buy, like, another gift for a few more seasons, at least, um, which is lovely. So, basically, that's about it. You just buy the gift, and then you just go present it to your wife, and she will love you for it. And it'll be great. Obviously, as you just, as you saw, they are uh, on the expensive side. So, you know, buying gifts hey, uh, initially uh, might not be disappoint. easy for you. Uh, maybe try to save up now and then. You can sometimes also find these out in the wild. They'll be like in those little, you know, overturned carts or in camps or something. Um, even in bandit camps, you can sometimes find these guys. So, you know, it's if it, if it fits your wife's personality, you're really lucky. If not, go sell it. Maybe you can go buy something that your wife would actually like. Um... So, you know, kind of keep your eyes peeled, basically. But otherwise, you know, once you start to establish yourself more and you have more income coming in, buying these are super easy because you're just going to have so much money. But starting off, it could be a little bit difficult to buy these gifts. Um, but that's about it. So if, you're, if your wife is feeling a little, a little, um, um, you know, a little blue, a little, 
a little uh, reminiscent of the of the whirlwind romance that you that you had before. You can always spark things up, spice things up again uh, by just giving her a gift from the vendor. Um, so hopefully you found that video helpful uh, with gifts and all that and where you can find the vendor. Pretty easy. Just ask somebody. Uh, but if you do have any other questions about the, the you know, gifts or anything like that, uh, do let me know in the comments. But uh, until next time, guys, keep surviving and keep thriving.